Welcome back to Sonic Generation. Sonic Adventure 2, you mean? Adventure 2, I'm sorry. That's our next project. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am Jams. And I'm Koi. And we are What the Jams here, and we're here in Pyramid Cave now. Pyra Pyramid Cave now as Sonic. Uh, any anyways. As I was saying before we started recording, yeah, I have no idea what the hell is going on <laughs> with KH right now. In fact, I don't even really remember clearly what exactly Xehanort's motive is. It's like, I know, the whole Keyblade War thing, but why? Because uh, I think he wants to see what is the war, like, what is the Keyblade War, I think. It's like some sources online say he wants to know what happens when another Keyblade War happens, and another site says it's because he wants Light and Dark to be both in balance. No, I think he wants to be in balance. Yeah, that's a confusing thing too. It's like I have no idea. Are you stuck? Right there? Ka kinda, but I managed to get through. But anyways, this is the bounce bracelet. You can it, it lets you bounce like a ball and get up to higher ledges like <laughs> like I was supposed to there but it also works as an attack so it's a great way for uh, those dead beats out there to abuse the chow those pipe things are actually whistles or whatever too uh, which I don't find out until after uh, I actually finish the hero side story so I don't actually use them <laughs> Uh, yeah, Pyramid Cave, uh, pretty standard, I guess. The, the, um, those little puzzle things kind of slow the pace, though. I just wonder, like... Yeah? How big is this thing actually? Well, it's a pyramid, and going from the looks of it, Eggman probably just basically hollowed it out. And Dude, I got just shot you down. Yeah. What a savage that thing is. Yeah. I believe these are basically like mass produced versions of uh, E1. I, I want to say it was one E102, I think the production name was called, but E102 Gamma was a character in. Sonic Adventure 1 as uh, one of Eggman's robots who uh, became self-aware and started a mission to kill off all of his brothers to free the birds trapped inside. Because, you know, Eggman traps animals inside his robots and uses them as power sources. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you see there? Animals popped out. That's animal abuse, man. Yeah. And as you can see here, this is another problem with this franchise's habit of mapping multiple actions to one button. And in fact, because the light speed dash, the bounce bracelet, the somersault, and spin dash are all, ma uh, all mapped to the same button, there's a very real possibility you can accidentally get yourself killed like that uh, sometimes. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not Sonic 06 levels of glitchy, but it, there's definitely a bit of jank to it, I guess. And part of it comes from the fact that it hasn't aged too well either. There's more jank stuff than giving me a lagoon and putting me again a corpus to know how to snow. I think the HGSS randomizer Nuzlocke is going to be even worse. Come on, give me a legendary this time. I mean, at the very least, we're not gonna have to suffer through it that long. Ouch. At least we don't have to guess which one is, uh, or type which Pokemon is. Yeah. When you also, guys get hit with Thunderbot and you don't know what type it is. Yeah, it was, uh, also I was trying to homing attack onto that robot there, but then it just kept homing in and spraying. <clears throat> And yeah, those hourglasses are, uh, I guess, kind of obvious. They open up the doors and you have a short amount of time to get through. Can you get trapped under the doors? Uh, I think it just glitches you through the other side, I'm not sure. And we're at the end of the stage. 
a bad programming. If yes. you get stuck on a door, you don't glitch it on the side. You get trapped there forever. Well, I mean, uh, I mean, w would you prefer to be trapped under there forever? Just made it. I mean, you'd probably be dead. You could probably snap your spine into two. Yeah, well, would you prefer that over just getting glitched to the other side? I mean, why don't they glitch you wrong and you're missing like your arm or something like that? I mean, like. Like in Harry Potter, when they try to apparate, and if you don't know how to apparate, you can lose an ear or something. Oh yeah, I remember that. And we're back in the Chow Garden. Yeah, uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I was thinking about... Well, I was trying to raise this particular one into a hero Chow. Well, basically, uh, when you raise a... Well, when uh, a Chow... Um, when you take care of a Chow with a character of a certain alignment enough, when they evolve, they'll evolve into uh, um, that same alignment. So this would evolve into a hero Chow, but this takes three real-time hours, and you have to be in here for three real-time hours. I mean, if you guys really want to watch it, you just speed up the footage. I have a filler part dedicated to trying to raise the Chow, but even then, it's it, it's like nearly an hour long, and still no results. I couldn't get it to evolve just because it, it wasn't enough time yet. That's the thing too, is like, you have to be in here for three hours. You can't be doing anything else. It has to be in the Chow Garden for three hours for their I mean, first what, evolution. I mean, what you can do is you can just leave it and go and do something else. But then the second evolution is ten hours. Um, just leave your machine off for ten hours. Overnight, yeah. I mean, if you wake up, I mean, like at nine o'clock, and you leave it on from nine to seven. I'm not that desperate. <laughs> you know, this is basically like waiting for your freeloading kids to turn eighteen so you can kick them out of the house. Basically. Yeah, that's why I was trying to show off the evolution too, because when you evolve a Chow into either a Hero Chow or Dark Chow, you will unlock a new garden. Um, themed after that alignment, so uh, the Hero Chow Garden would look like heaven, and obviously the Dark Chow Garden would look like, um, hell. Maybe we should put some music here, you know. <laughs> oh, never mind. He left already. Okay, that's good. That's okay. Looks like yeah. we're heading toward the center of the base. That egg First of sure all, loves mechanical things, how long he? does it take a man to do his beard? What? Like his, his mustache, you mean? Yeah, his mustache. No uh, I don't know. He, he, it's probably just grown out naturally like that. Uh, bu 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 uh, I mean, he, at the end of Sonic Lost World, he gets half of it chewed off by a rabbit. So... That's sad. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, and it's back to normal by the next game, so I don't know. Well, now they send you to find the key? That sucks. Yeah, they sent Knuckles to find the key because he ha he has a built-in, I guess, metal detecting radar. Anyways, we get our um, next upgrade here with Knuckles, which lets you break steel containers. Iron Fist. Yeah. Also, this stage is a pain in the ass. I mean, every stage from uh, uh, every knuckle stage from this point onwards is a pain in the ass. But you have a lot of like secret passages and stuff too. Like you had to dig through the wall there, and it's Yo, just kind of cramped. Dig through the wall. Why can't you just dig underneath the um, thing? Underneath the what? Oh, 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 the steel containers. Yeah. Presumably, the wall is actually made of sand or whatever that he can get through. Yeah, but then, like, remember when you said, oh, we need a key for this? But then, is the ground made out of steel? I don't think so. I think the ground is made out of ground stuff. I mean, rocks and stuff, maybe? I, I, I don't know. It's Sonic Team logic. It's the same thing, like, when your character dies in the game, you can resurrect them, but during the cutscenes, when they die, that we can't heal you. Well, then, yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, well, uh, in the Final Fantasy case, specifically, the Phoenix Down does only resurrect, uh, it doesn't resurrect, it just, uh, um, picks you back up if you're unconscious. But yeah, speaking of gameplay and story segregation, uh, uh, I mean, 
Yeah, some, I mean, obviously, some games, you, they have to compromise, you know, for uh, the sake of uh, the gameplay, instead of trying to integrate fully into the story. That being said, though, Red Dead Redemption 2 seems to be going all in on uh, attention to detail on, and actual stuff, too. Like, actual realistic stuff. Like, you know, apparently in that game, when you hunt stuff, if you shoot the wildlife with your gun, like, um, the pelt will be damaged and it, uh, uh, it won't be worth as much. If you, um, and obviously if you're uh, hunting for food, uh, when you kill an animal and you, uh, just grab it and put it onto your horse, if you just leave it there for too long, it's gonna rot. So you gotta bring it back to camp and cook it, too. Yeah. Yeah, I still haven't pre-ordered the game yet, though. It's like I'm still, I'm still kind of on the edge. Push me to the edge. I'm not in the bag. <laughs> this isn't Sonic EXE, boy. <laughs> yeah, I think every single kids franchise has to have like a creepy pasta. Or something with a deformed protagonist or whatever. Oh yeah, oh, oh, oh yeah, I also uh, forgot to mention Rouge has to go through a similar version of this stage too, except it's even more of a pain in the ass. Because throughout the entire area, you have like a giant security beetle bug thing uh, just patrolling, and if it sees you, it shoots you, and it's invincible. It's invincible? Yeah. It's like Cutrion in the Pokemon Dungeon game. Well, though, you can actually kill Kecleon. Can you? You can, and you can recruit them too. I've done it as a kid. They, How did they, you survive? You have to be like level 99. Oh. It, 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 it basically turns into Dynasty Warriors because there's like a bunch of them. They all get an agility boost, and they start spawning infinitely too. And the recruit chance is like ridiculously low. And I think I found... Oh, that good? Oh, that's, that's good? I don't even know. I mean, anything in Mystery Dungeon can be good just because of how whack that game balance is. When you're at level 99, your basic A attack would just murder everything. At least in the first game. That's and... Crazy. Yeah? That's crazy. And... The third key is going to be a pain in the ass for me to find. Uh, this is also something I don't like about uh, how they overhauled the treasure hunting system in this game. Because in the first game, there was this like orange energy ball thing that um, when you touched it as knuckles, it would actually fly off in the general direction of uh, the emerald, the emerald shard, and there was no penalty for using it. Like you think it's bad here, it's gonna get even worse when we get to Meteor Herd. I think we really need some music. Yeah, well, yeah, like, ladies and gentlemen, due to just like audio issues and stuff, like, we're doing this over Discord screen share, so I had to mute the video. So Poi and I can talk over it without um, having to worry about catching the game audio too. Because for part one, we also recorded the game audio with it just so Poi could listen. But it would be a pain in the ass to sync up the audio to the video because it's gonna cause these syncing issues. I, I I can't hear anything right now. Yeah, like, neither can I. I. No. Hopefully we'll have. Really, a if I heard the voices, I'll be making fun of them. Yeah, yeah. But, 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 but yeah, um, if there's any solutions, ladies and gentlemen, that you know of, please let us know. Because we we don't want to do this to Koi for KH3. And please let us know, not one year from now when you see this video, not two years, but one week. Well, by the time this video goes up, we're like, uh, episode... I mean, like, December? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but we'll pump... No, not mid-December, I think you're gonna be like mid-November when you see this. <laughs> or mid to early November, I think this is like... God, I, I, I just forgot what part we're even on. 
Uh, five. Yeah, th I think this is episode five, yeah. I think I spent the rest of the stage trying to find the new emerald. Uh, the, the rest of the video, I mean. Oh, damn, emerald. That damn emerald. those confounded jams and jewels. <sighs> We're not even looking for emeralds. Back in my day, what we did is we got those Bengal geologists. It said a secret room between the red and green room, and I'm in the blue room. I have a terrible sense of direction too when it comes to these stages, even though I've played this game multiple times when I was younger. <laughs> Sonic Adventure 2 also does seem to be like a favorite for uh, a lot of people. Especially those who started off with this game in particular as their introduction to the Sonic franchise. But yeah, right now ladies and gentlemen, our plan is um... After we finish Sonic Adventure 2 off, Dark Story and Last Story included, we're going to move on to Sonic Generations, and after Sonic Generations, it will probably be January. So we'll probably Kingdom be gearing. Yeah, we'll be gearing up for Kingdom Hearts 3. It will be a major, our our, our, ma our next major project after these two games. And, uh, I guess, which one of us is going to be handling Kingdom Hearts 3 anyway? Uh, I think you're going to have to be handling Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, I'll probably start off on either proud mode or critical mode, depending on what I have available at the start. If we're doing KH3 post-commentary too, that means it's going to be a lot of deaths that I gotta edit out. Yeah, man. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm still lost. I'm just sta we're just standing here now abusing Omo Chow. And I'm more abused, man. I'm more the car. I don't Well, die. Omo Chow isn't even an animal. He, he he's a robot thing. Oh, he's a robot? Oh no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he he's mechanical uprising. in nature. When there's a robot uprising that's coming for you. Yeah, people hate Omo Chow for some reason, but uh yeah, there's a Sonic 1 hack where um where every time you would do something, Omo Chao would pop up and just congratulate you on that minor achievement. Even if it means you collect a single ring, he would pop up. Good job, and good job, good job. Good job. No, 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 and every time he does so, it would freeze the game uh, um, while his message was showing, and uh, that, and it would get longer and longer every time. So basically, you had to avoid everything uh, in the stage until you got to the very end. That sounds so disgusting. That's some of the point of those ROM hacks is to torture people. Hey, imagine each time you collect um, money in Kingdom Hearts, they show it in five minute cutscene. That's basically what it is. That's basically what the ROM hack is. Except it gets even longer. Oh, that's horrible. But, but, but yeah, there's a, and then, then there's another hack for. Uh, Sonic 2, where um, every ring you collect was actually an onion ring, so you would start to get fatter and fatter until you died of morbid obesity. You could run, you could exercise it off, but uh, the rate at which you gained that fat was a lot faster. Sounds horrible, man. <laughs> these these ROM hacks are terrifying and amazing at the same time. <laughs> And also, we finally found the emerald. 
<clears throat> and that's gonna be the end of the part, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you uh, next time. Which is in like five minutes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes for us, go. one day yeah, for you guys. Or one week, yeah. depending on what part this is. Yeah. See ya. Both parts are one, two. Yeah, one week for them. Yeah. See ya. Yeah. Alright, let's go.